Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 103 of the IME podcast. And in today's episode, I have brought back the amazing and wonderful Jess, who has been on a previous episode. I can't remember what episode it was. I should have done my prior research on that one, but on a prior episode, and we've got a lot of really good feedback from that episode. And I wanted to get her back on because it's obviously someone who I absolutely adore to pieces, but also someone who I speak with multiple times a day because we're working very closely with our trading businesses um, and organizations and mentoring a lot of people now and growing into the space. So essentially today's podcast, guys, is to get back, get her back on. On, have a bit of a chat on how she's been going because she's absolutely killing it since last time we spoke but then also talking about um creating multiple streams of income the importance of it giving uh, given in today's day and age where we're at and what's happening uh getting me a chance for her to speak about some of the other things that she does and also just a few i think myths and, and debunking a few myths where you know women taking control of their financial education financial like you know structure and support systems and also delving into some what's seen as with the financial markets a very male dominated space and, and women kicking ass in that area so firstly jess how are you Hey, hey, I'm good. Thanks for having me back. <laughs> no, nah, it's good to have you back. And just so yes. we're, I've got a really crappy internet signal with today's um, one, guys. So if there's a little bit of a delay with Jess um, responding to my questions, please bear with us. It's not her. Um, it's my internet. So anyway, um, Jess, tell us firstly, trading six months in, not six months in, I've seen things six months. It's been three to four months. How are we going and, and what's the progress so far? Yes, uh, three months. So we've been three months live now. Um, it's been amazing. Like definitely the beginning was lots of information to, you know, take in. And like I said, in my last episode, it was feeling a bit, um, it's just a whole new thing, right? You're just going to follow the process for the outcome. And I've just been really um, teachable and watching all the videos and just taking it day by day. And yeah, I think the more trades I do, the more confident I get. Um, and just trusting that everything that I've learned works. And I think the more trades you win, um, that confidence really grows and that belief grows because it is really 90% mindset. I really believe there's a lot about trading that comes psychologically from the mind it's more about that like the actual strategy and techniques um yes they're there and you learn those but I definitely have found um because I have done so much work personally I think that's why I've had the success I've had in the amount of time because I work on myself all the time I'm wanting to be the best version of myself and I take my mindset very seriously so um the fact that that's a part of trading I think that's that's a big reason why I've had the success that I've had and just the amazing platform that we use. It has absolutely everything in there that you, that you need. You know, I get people who come to me all the time, you know, I don't know anything. I'm brand new. Like, can I still do it? Absolutely. That's the whole point, right? We want you to come in, um, take step by step and learn. And yeah, I'm going to be hitting over five figures this month um, from my initial investment into trading. So I'm super stoked about that. Um, but yeah, even like not thinking about the money side of it, just that empowering feeling of being able to take back control financially, have a skill set to make money. Like it's such an awesome, amazing feeling. I've never felt that before that relies on no one. You know, I'm all about impact. I build businesses. Um, like Dom says, we're going to be talking about multiple streams of income. Um, but I've never had anything that I had full control over. And the fact that I had this now and have this and be able to help other people as well have this um, has been one of the best things I've done this year. So, so grateful, Dom. <laughs> yeah. No, that's all good. I appreciate it. Um, so, the reason why I say six months at the start there was just because, you know, when Jess and I first started speaking about it and she asked me a few questions via social media, um, that was about six months ago. And I just, I still remember that uh, to that, to this day is just how like 
non-confident you were and and just so worried about you know do i need to be smart do i need to be this do i need to be that and i was we've spoken many bit times about this and i often get those questions and it's just again people with limiting beliefs they have their preconceptions on what they think this is and just prom i promise you that once you get started make that commitment to yourself mentally to just go all in on this and you know, apply yourself you realize that it's not really as tough as it seemed as it made out to seem and that's just with i think with social conditioning in general like you know with the way movies are they pre-describe and pre um you know make things seem harder therefore we live within our norms and we don't go out we don't get outside of our comfort zone we don't go out there and try new things because it's just seem too scary or we'll make mistakes we're going to stuff up you know you're going to fail the test all this kind of shit which happens from again schooling and again there are social conditioning environments that we don't take the risk but i'm telling you that everything that you've ever wanted in life is on the other side of what you fear the most and this is one thing so you need to get over yourself get over those fears push through and i promise you you'll come out the other side and you know even to some of the best of us just back then six months ago still was personally developing as she is now but she's just willing to go through and fight through come out the other side of that comfort zone and um you know fucking have a crack at it and that's what i really love and i still do those things to my day to this day now as well but i guess sort of moving forward jess oh and as well like as she said she's going to be moving her account into five figures in three months of live trading starting off with only a couple of hundred bucks in a live trading account that is absolutely astronomical and look you know that those results are not typical that's on the higher end of, of some of my students but it's just been apply 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 because that's probably the second question i get a lot is how much money do i need to invest to get started with and i tell people it's literally however much you can afford as little as 100 bucks 200 bucks get started mm -hmm. um and and therefore we just change our money mindset because again conditioning we seem to the money we're willing to invest is money money we're willing to lose because of gambling you know going to the horse races whatever you know whereas with this i want we teach people to flip their money mindset have a look at money differently take a little bit and turn it into a lot foster it grow it appreciate it value it more and through compound interest and you know reinvesting your um your profits you're going to turn a little bit into a lot therefore creating a better nest than keeping your money in the bank so great stuff jess i'm so so proud of you being able to do that but i guess moving forward now um you know let's sort of talk a little bit about i guess as i said some of the other things that you're, you're doing at the moment and what it is that you're working through i know you're heavily involved in crypto and things like that but what else are we doing yeah i think too like with trading or crypto or anything that's a little bit different like i think still um there's a lot of like oh, it's really risky. Like there's this fear around risk, but life is risky, man. Like I think like you've just got to understand what risk means to you and what you're willing to sacrifice from not taking a risk and from taking a risk, right? And if you're doing it in a sensible way, um, then yeah. And even like the biggest reward sometimes come from the biggest risks, right? So there is a lot of stuff out there. And I think it is definitely important that, um, you know, you do your due diligence and if it doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. Um, but crypto in itself, like I think, you know, Bitcoin's been around now, what, like 10 years. Um, I remember when that came out. I remember when um, even like my mom, like I remember they, um, her husband's very IT and he was like, there was some different like courses that you could get um, coins for. Um, and I was like, what is he talking about? Mum was like, just sign your name up. Like who knows what will happen in the future. And I just wish someone had done that for me for Bitcoin. But um, I just remember like seeing that. And at the time, because I was, um, not educated and not understanding like a lot of us when something new comes out we're like what is this like think back to even Facebook right when that first came out people were like what do I want to make a profile do I want people to be able to see what I'm doing like if you really think back to the start of things it's uncomfortable it's a little bit risky we don't know if we want to take a stand but something I've learned is that um if you don't take an opportunity you've got no chance to win like if you don't um try if you don't you're not part of it you don't put some money in or you don't put your foot out like you've got no chance nothing's going to change so if you're wanting things to change to try new things like who knows what's going to happen like crypto this year was my um sort of first introduction to digital world you know 
past been in businesses like network marketing with products and then affiliate marketing, which is really using social media, building a personal brand, understanding marketing and stuff like that. And then coming to the digital space and then like realizing the flexibility of that, realizing how much less time that took than having a physical product and understanding um you know crypto like you can just literally google it like i you know i knew about ethereum and then um obviously bitcoin and then there's so many other coins there's a lot happening and you can be someone who um you know buys and sells you can hold crypto i um my first introduction to crypto was through a like peer-to-peer -peer system so i was buying smart contracts people would buy that off me i would make money and i'd also make um the crypto ethereum so that's how i built up my ethereum i also use another platform um, that pays five percent a week that is for bitcoin and that grows my bitcoin um, but you can also just buy it and let it sit in a wallet like there's different types of wallets um, that you can you know let the market go up and down make money that way um, which i have a few coins as well but it's really just feeling what feels right for you you know um, some of the coins are really cheap and just being mindful whatever you put in like be willing to lose so until you're comfortable and you've seen that you've been able to gain then that's when you would go a bit higher so um i just think like not taking the risk and not trying new things is never going to change your life it's never going to impact you in any way so i'm super open-minded in everything and just love to give things love things to give and give them a go and that's why I like with trading came along because i was essentially one of the ones that i use for Bitcoin, they essentially trade on the Forex market and that's how I make money. And I was realizing how much money um, I was making from that. And I was like, wow, if I actually learned how to trade myself and I put that money in, I could make more money. So that's, that's another reason why I got into trading because I could see the potential of actually me having the skill set. So if anything did happen to that platform, then I was in control again right so that's why having a few different things diversifying your income multiple income streams um especially now with what's happening with covid in the world and people not having secure jobs and money coming in like why not like having things that are passively building for you the biggest thing too for me was looking at my bank and having you know for years it was like have a savings account have money there that's how you um are wealthy the more money you have in your savings account and you're making like one to three percent a year on that so just really being more open-minded like what can you do with your money that's going to grow your money like compound wealth again if it's in trading if it's in crypto um there's all different ways that you can do that and i think um especially women and moms like this is such an amazing way for you to make an incredible income um online and yes crypto crypto can be volatile but yeah if you're using like platforms and stuff like that um like i do then you also have that happening so you're getting paid no matter what essentially you're not relying just on the market and i know dom like you obviously do some stuff with crypto too yeah, yeah, no, I do. So I think, you know, to sort of give people an understanding, I've spoken about on episodes prior, but I would have around about, oh, let's just say for it's a nice clean number, around about 10 income streams. So, you know, I learned very early on and it was thanks to the, a prior network marketing company that both I and Jess were in to, to talk about the importance of diversifying your income and not to rely on one income stream. So I learned that very early on. That would have been about oh, six, seven years ago, if not more. Um, and, you know, so since then, I just made sure I got to work. And then with what happened in Victoria last year, which is what unfortunately a lot of Victorians and people in New South Wales are going through now, we're going through that bloody lockdown period. You know, I've, I watched over a week to week basis, my income going around about four, four between four to four and a half thousand dollars a week dwindled down to like less than $500, but still unfortunately earning more than what I could to get on any Centrelink payments. But it was okay because I had obviously money in the bank, but what was just very it was just such a huge rude awakening that I'm like, I'm diversified, I'm sweet, but not realizing how many of those incomes could be greatly affected by 
obviously global events. So, you know, that reassessed everything. That's what introduced me to trading, which was fantastic because I know that's something that's always going to be available for us. And also knowing that the global elites that run the world and so be it the banking institutions, they trade on the foreign exchange market. They trade on the stock market. They trade through crypto. That's how they accumulate their wealth and make, you know, ridiculous amounts of, um, you know, liquidity moving through markets like they do. So for me, it's like I've been very grateful for that but you know with the things that i do online which is probably the most important thing um is obviously my online boot camp business i shifted online that's one income stream that was a physical in-person business that obviously shifted online that's great now i've got a combination of people that pay direct debits and people that pay per class visits um and people that pay for like bulk sessions up front um you know then i've got my actual in-person personal training which is one thing as well um and then you know things like footy and whatnot and and also um, normal jobs things that i do online um, nutrition training online strength and conditioning training online that's like specific to the one person's um, one person's needs um, as well as I'm looking at moving into now bodybuilding in terms of comp prepping for people which will be another string that I'll add there as well so that's one thing and then with the crypto which you obviously mentioned there as well I've been heavily invested in crypto for quite some time being down the quote-unquote rabbit hole that um, I've talked about many occasions made me very aware that in my personal belief cryptocurrency a form of cryptocurrency, I think, will be a a, a a stable a stable coin based um, cryptocurrency. Something that I don't think is in personally in existence. I think they will create a you know a bit like USDC, USDT, things like that, which is a stable coin. For those who don't know, they're essentially coins that sit always at a dollar for you to be able to transfer funds in and out when you get profits and whatnot to hold hold um uh, hold your value of your coins essentially. But I do believe that your normal Australian dollar, US dollar, um, you know, Europe, European dollar, thing like that, they will no longer be in existence within a five to 10 year period. And I think a cryptocurrency is where they're going to be pushing a lot of people. It means a hell of a lot more control for them. You know, it can be tracked all the time if you don't obey the orders or follow the, the rules, they can quite easily turn that off. Not saying they couldn't turn your bank, bank account off now, but it's just a lot more difficult at the moment than it could be. So knowing what I know, I knew crypto is where they're heading. So I've been invested for quite some time. The things that Jess was saying, that she does is really, really good. That's a bit more like of a passive way of doing it. So you can essentially, you don't have to do as much. You just, as you said, buy and sell contracts, things like that, get people involved, get referrals on that, which is really good. And I still think it's something that's very, um, very powerful for me personally. I actually, actually manage my crypto myself. So I've been accumulating crypto through CoinSpot being the main um, way that I transfer my Aussie dollars onto CoinSpot. But then when I purchase the crypto, I put my crypto to use. I'm not sitting it on the exchange, just sitting there and, and doing its thing. I put it to work. I go out and actually find how to stake um, or to create, basically create yield for my crypto, creating myself more. When you know the different niches when it comes to crypto, i.e. you got your NFTs, you've got your um, DC decentralized finance you've got your uh, uh gaming coins there's like there's different niches knowing where we're heading and moving forward in the world i've accumulated certain cryptos that fall into those areas and i think that nfts gaming and and um, decentralized finance for me are the big ones and big movers and shakers going forward a decentralized finance cryptocurrency is basically where you become your own bank. You purchase that cryptocurrency and you can put it back in. People can borrow your crypto off you. Therefore, you're earning interest on the money that they borrow or off the crypto they borrow for you. But you can also stake it. So you reinvest it, put it back in, creating more liquidity into the pool. And then they will reward you by giving you more of that crypto over a daily basis. I've got some crypto that earns up to 72. Some One of the highest cryptos I own at the moment is 140 percent apy which is yearly returns on that so i'm getting 140 percent more of that crypto asset on a on a yearly basis which is insane on something that is also going up in value banks cannot do this because when we you know we get given money that's going down in value it's depreciating so that's why crypto is very powerful um and i think at the moment move and shake is this is essentially the dot-com era when it comes to crypto you know being around when if you're around the dot com dot com time so you know i'm not going to go into too much detail but basically taking 
taking my crypto off um, the exchange, putting it in through MetaMask or you know Uniswap and purchasing um, very small minor cap cryptos as well and gambling a little bit to a degree, i.e. like penny stocks, going on things that are just listed, getting on things that get the pre-listings. There's some things I'm getting in pre-listing and also some cryptos will have um, become DEXIs where they basically, they're, they're launch pads. So cryptos will be created on their launch pad, which I've invested in as well. And you will get re rewarded by brand new coins that come into the space just because you're staking or investing. So these, I'm going deep diving here, but this is the shit that I do because for me, I like, I'm really inquisitive and I want to know about this and I want to know where my money's going. And I'm not all in, like not all my money's in there, but it's just how I'm diversifying my income. I'm no longer putting X amount of money into my super or X amount of money into my high interest savings account. I'm now leaving that where it is and I'm putting more money of my investment fund into crypto and into my trading account and taking profits of my trading account as well across. So um, that is my crypto uh, story there. But is there anything else to suggest that you're doing at the moment with terms of income streams? Yeah, so I think it's really important to be like open-minded and really think about what things light you up, like what interests you. Like, you honestly can make money from anything online if you really like are passionate about it. Um, so I'm like an affiliate to a few different things. I'm in a coaching platform um, and I'm in the process of setting up my very own coaching business. Um, so I'm working with a coach now to bring that to life, which is very exciting. So that um, I'll have different programs, you know, and really just like giving value in what it is that that you're you're interested in like if you've invested in personal development or you know you understand marketing or maybe you maybe you have um a passion for writing like you could design a journal a gratitude book and you could sell that you know what I mean like I think it's just there's so many opportunities out there and one of the biggest things now, um, because of like Facebook, like five years ago, it'd only be like seven. So for people to even message you, for example, they'd have to see you seven times or have seven points of contact somewhere along social media. So obviously then we didn't have stories and Instagram reels and all these things that we have now. So it's just by posting, right? Um, now we have a lot more options. Like we got, video is coming to be one of the biggest things, especially through Instagram. Um, but now it's like 20, okay? So 20 points um, now for people to buy from you because of how big, um, Facebook and social media is getting. So Facebook ads are so much, um, don't work as well as they did five years ago, for example. So a lot of businesses actually pay you to be an affiliate to promote their product. So if you love, you bought a pair of sunglasses or maybe, um, especially on Instagram, pajamas or something that you've purchased like a product, um, or even like protein, a watch, like anything that you basically would buy that you love and absolutely genuinely like it, they will pay you a five to 10, sometimes 15% um, payment for anyone that you get that buys that. Um, so affiliate marketing is becoming extremely popular um, and you can you can have anything like even just my um, blue light uh, glasses that I got not long ago, when I brought them, it came up saying like, you know, um, would you be interested in a 5% affiliate fee? It's, it's so simple now and because it's so much cheaper for them to um, pay you to get them customers than then pay for advertising, Facebook ads, funnels, all that sort of stuff. You know, people are really taking advantage of that. And it makes sense when you really think about word of mouth and if you really like someone and someone's promoting something that you trust already you've built that like and trust they're most likely going to go and buy it so I have oh I've got a ton of affiliate <laughs> links but I probably have five main um, streams of income that I put a lot like put energy into I do have others but they're the five that I really kind of promote and are really passionate about and work on um, and yeah, I think just getting really clear and just, yeah, being open. Like if you have some some sort of skill, like even teaching right now, like think about how many kids right now are being homeschooled. You could offer being a teacher online um, to take that pressure off families. You know, if you're a cleaner, you know, or um, maybe being in business, for example, this was something I was looking at being a, a VA. You can do all the 
the social media stuff for people who businesses have expanded like it's it's absolutely limitless like what you can do so um yeah i mean i'm all about diversifying income having multiple streams and just yeah just keep yourself open and try new things um you're helping other businesses by helping helping them and 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 it's a really awesome feeling plus you're getting paid for it so why not why not get paid to post something on social media why not get po- like get paid to have social media like i don't understand people who have facebook that don't get money off it like why not <laughs> you know like you like people don't realize that they have a personal brand and they don't know about it like even if you don't sell anything you showing up and what you post on there, that is your brand on social media. So you might as well take advantage, use it, understand it and make an income from it. And yeah, it like, I just think, um, especially with crypto, like there's going to be so many new things, like there's already so many things developing. So um, yeah, give things a go, try things out. Like Dom and me are always open to have a chat. Um, if you're looking for an option, um, and yeah like just I think why not and especially moms like and females like I just see so many just stuck like when I became a mom it was like what are my options go work in a cafe go work a job like only can work one maybe three days a week you know the amount of money parents pay on daycare (laughs) and like before schooling begins you have to pay for daycare it is ridiculous like what I pay for daycare for Sienna if I didn't make money would be like half a clay's income it's it's absolutely crazy so a lot of people work to pay for daycare so start yeah start believing in yourself start putting yourself out there and ask the question like if you like something and be like hey um would you be open to giving me, you know, 10% if I started to bring people in? I guarantee you'll start, they'll say yes, because you're going to make them more money by doing that. And then you're going to make a cut too. So um, mm. you you will never know unless you try. You'll never know unless you ask. So um, yeah, get out yeah. there, you know. Yeah, no, I completely agree uh, with what you said there. You hit some <laughs> some very interesting things. Well, my affiliates, I do a lot of affiliate marketing as well. Obviously, with the uh, Instagram, I would have 20 to 25 referral codes. Um, and, you know, obviously, I have a, a nice Instagram following, but that I've built that over time. And I did know that was something that would be beneficial. Again, a bit ahead of the time, I knew where affiliate marketing was going and how a lot of businesses were going to use um, word of mouth affiliate marketing over traditional um, marketing. So, you know, but and I get a kickback. So every time someone buys something from one of my links and they get a 10% discount, that 10% discount, I, you know, I'm, I'm lucky enough to get. I've got obviously a lot of apparel um, supplement companies as well as um, yeah, glasses as well like yourself. So there is plenty out there. And actually even just one recently, I, I, I literally um, just went to their website. I was just about to purchase it was just a jewelry. I can't say that word jewelry, um, but it was a band that just had these really cool bands and I wanted them. And I was just looking through their website and it just had become an affiliate. A lot of companies now are just allowing that straight away. Now, yes, you still had to apply to provide my Instagram um, and they had to do some um, searching to see if I was, you know, worth it, not going to give it to everyone. I get that, but I just wanted to purchase it. Didn't want to become affiliate, but I saved some money because I got a 15% affiliates discount, which then I went on and used my own affiliate link that I just got off a company just because I wanted to purchase it. So, and now I'm going to do a few posts when it arrives. Who knows? I might make some money from that as well. So just do your research, inquire, ask questions because you never know. Um, And second to that, which will lead into my next question for you, Jess, and last question before we wrap up, as I said, the misconception and stereotype that women, you know, taking control of their financial future, getting involved in a very male dominated space of like um, stocks uh, and looking at, you know, the financial market and sector. Firstly, let's debunk that for yourself and how have you found it? I know what would have been daunting for yourself initially. We've talked about that, but how did you work your way through it? And obviously we know the, re- the rewards from that since. Yeah, so I think because I obviously before I got into like the digital space and and doing crypto, like it is, it's a whole new thing to learn and and it it can be uncomfortable if you're not unsure, unsure about it. Um, I get a lot of people who come to me and be like, you know, I'm interested in it, but I'm just, I'm I'm nervous because I don't understand it, right? So um, me making that decision really changed my life because it meant that I didn't have to um 
you know, go and get a job or do something else after my maternity left. So trading, like I said, I was already doing something passively through that and saw the power of um, the income from that. And I just thought that would be so cool to be able to, yeah, take back that control. Um, and I think, I think now, like, there's been a lot of, like, talk on the masculine energy and it's really coming into the feminine at the moment um, of and this is energies, this is not sex, but I think um, for a long time, especially in my network marketing business, it was all very much like hustle, 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 grind, grind, grind. Um, and just like, I want to make money and this is how I'm doing it. Where after a lot of personal development, after like not being part of that business anymore, I really dive, wanted to like look into like, for ages, I thought business and life were separate, right? And I really was a big shift for me understanding that it's all connected and I wanted my business to flow I wanted it to be easy and fun and liberating and I wanted to enjoy what I was doing so yes at the start it was uncomfortable um and like I remember looking at my first chart and going what the hell is this <laughs> um but the platform literally takes you step by step and I just remember watching um the videos and taking notes and then once I started to understand the language and then um actually applying what I was learning um it, like anything it's like when you go to university and you'll or even school right like I mean I hated maths because I never thought I was good at it so I didn't apply myself but I loved art and I was good at it so I applied myself where now looking back if I actually believed that I was smart I probably would have done really well in maths because I would have applied myself so again it's coming back to your subconscious and your beliefs and um just deciding that you know what I'm going to dominate trading I'm going to come in and show up and make sure these people know I'm here to play like I'm not just coming in and who's that who's that Jess chick like no I'm all in like I'm here to not only dominate trading myself but to make impact and help other people have this amazing skill and that's what I've done <laughs> and um yeah I think like this whole like male dominant thing you know I'm past navy so I've worked with a lot of males I don't have a problem with that but I think just like for me personally, like I was saying, coming from a network marketing perspective with a product, like I don't have to go to the post office and post products, go meet people in coffee shops and convince them about this product and how it works because all the information is online. Like all the information is done for you. Like I don't have to convince people that they'll make money by trading because that's essentially this, you know, 7 trillion or whatever it is, dollars a day going through there. And that's how the banks make their money. So I don't feel like I have a lot of work to do besides when I was in my first business where I was like, no, look, this product helped me lose weight and this is going to help you do this. And these are all before and afters and blah, blah, blah. It's like, cool. These are the facts. You know, this is what I personally been able to do, but essentially if you just jump in and follow exactly what I did, you're going to have the same result. It's just so easy. And again, like in flow, it's fun. Um, and I mean, both of us do so many other things. So when people come to us and are like, you know, how can I fit this in around my life? Well, come on, you can. <laughs> like I'm a mom, I have a one-year-old, I literally work two days a week. Um, so if I can still make, you know, I think it's around 500 to to $1,000 a week right now in trading, like I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm sure you'll be able to find the time. Um, and yeah, just trust in yourself. And again, just coming from that place of like, just decide, just make the decision that you're going to smash it. Um, because a lot of people I feel hold back because they don't believe in themselves. They don't believe they can do it. And I even know at the beginning, like if I lost a trade, it was like, oh, maybe I'm not, maybe I don't understand it. Maybe I don't know. But instead of just like coming back to that guilt space and being like, poor me, pity party, it was like, okay, cool. Let's start actually journaling and looking at what I'm doing. And then if there's actual evidence of what I'm doing and it's not working, then I can come and show you or whoever you're with and get the answers. And a lot of it was just the time frames for me weren't fitting or my entry point was just a little bit off, etc. So, um, yeah, there's always, there's always a way to win. And I think a lot of it just comes back to mindset. I'm a big believer in that. And um, yeah, does that answer your question? 
Yeah, hundred percent answers the question. No, thank you, thank you so much for that. Um, yeah, you're an absolute powerhouse, Jess. I absolutely love and adore you and love working with you. And we're going to be doing some great things and we already are. And we're going to continue it by just continuing to show up. And I think guys, just to sort of wrap up this podcast, you know, as Jess said, she does a hundred different things. You know, as mother, myself, I wear 12 different hats. I run around like a headless sugar all the time. Um, you know, we both choose to do this right now because we know delayed gratification, put in the hard work now. We do know that in a few years' time, it means we're going to be able to t- work a hell of a lot less. But also, we just enjoy giving to others and helping others. But the only difference between her and I right now and you listening and not quite being in that fulfillment or really having your life where you want to be is literally the choice to take action and to push through your comfort zones and not listen to the external influences around you that are those negative ones, you know, and I know it's easier said than done hundred percent. I know it's easier said than done because I have my moments where I, you know, she hits the fan and I sort of fall back, but I don't allow myself to live in that space. I don't allow myself to continually be there. And also making sure that I recognize it early if I am in one of those slump moments. And, you know, I love the fact that you guys are listening to this right now. It means that you're, you know, outside of the, the, the 90% of the world who are just sitting back and letting things happen. So you're willing to at least look at alternative measures. But I've done that as well, where I've just listened to podcasts after podcast, you know, listen to audio tape after audio tape and just whatever it is and just not actually taking any actionable steps. So if there's something that you want to do, if there's an itch you want to scratch, I fucking challenge you right now to take action upon that and do it now. If there's something you could sign up to, some kind of thing you could start, launch it, you know, an Instagram page just because we'll launch a business. Say there's a business you want to launch, go create that Instagram page now. There's nothing wrong with just getting some screenshots, some images that you can do that's whatever it is that you're trying to do and just get started. Even if it's fucking cake decorating, just make a start on something now because that actionable item and making that start is going to create that momentum that will drive you and propel you towards, you know, achieving what you want to achieve. And it may not get, you may not become the next world's best cake decorator, cake decorator, but you're going to learn something from it and therefore apply those lessons to the next thing you jump yourself into until you finally find what it is that you've been trying to find in your life. So um, again, Jess, I just want to say thank you so much for jumping on. We went a little bit over time, so I do value and appreciate you. Thank you so much. But everyone else, um, stay tuned for the next episode and remember, be the change that you want to see in this world. I'll speak to y'all soon. Bye for now.